Hello everyone, welcome to MSAPTIC Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure message delivery restrictions for a mailbox in Exchange Online. We can use the Exchange Admin Center or Exchange Online PowerShell to place restrictions on whether messages are delivered to individual recipients or not. Message delivery restrictions are useful to control who can send messages to users in your organization. For example, you can configure a mailbox to accept or reject messages sent by specific users or to accept messages only from users in your Exchange organization. First of all, we need to access and log in to the Exchange Admin Center web interface. To do so, Open your favorite web browser and type in the URL admin.exchange.microsoft.com and press enter key. Enter the email address of your global administrator, which is cladmin at clarex.onmicrosoft.com in my case. Now I'm going to click on next. Let's enter the user password and click on sign in. In the Exchange Admin Center web interface, navigate to Recipients. And under Recipients, you will find Mailboxes. In the list of user mailboxes, click the mailbox that you want to configure a message delivery restriction for. Uh, I'm going to select the mailbox, Josh Butler. So let's click on it. On the Mailbox tab, under Mail Flow Settings, we need to click on Manage Mail Flow Settings link. In the Manage Mail Flow Settings window, you will see the Message Delivery Restriction option. That is here. Let's click Edit button next to this option. We can configure Message Delivery Restriction based on two options. Accept Messages From or Block Messages From. All sender options specify that the user can accept messages from all sender. This includes both senders in your Exchange organization and external senders. If you go with the second button, this option specifies that the user can choose from a list of senders who can send the message to this user. Click on Add Sender to display the list of all recipients in your Exchange organization. Let's click on Add Sender. You can also search for specific recipient by typing the recipient's name in the search box. Select the desired recipients and then click confirm. So simply you need to select this way. So suppose if you want to accept messages only from Manhar and Matt Damon, you need to select the checkboxes and then click on confirm and save the changes. Fine. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click on cancel and select all senders as we will go with the default option fine so we want to accept messages from all senders fine now here we have a one more option and this option prevents anonymous users from sending messages to our user and that's why we have an option named require senders to be authenticated fine and if you select this option require senders to be authenticated this includes external users that are outside of your Exchange organization. Fine. Next, we have an option Block Messages From. Use this section to block people from sending message to this user. If none option is selected, that means the mailbox won't reject messages from any senders in the Exchange organization. This is the default selection. If you go with Selected Senders, that time you can specify that the user can choose from a list of senders from which you want to reject the message. For example, we want to block messages from a user Parita to Josh Butler. And for that, I'm going to click on add senders and search for Parita or you can select the user's mailbox from here as well. Okay, so we want to block messages from Parita Borda to our user Josh Butler. Fine. Now I'm going to save these changes and for that we need to click on this confirm button. Let's click on save to save the changes. We can see the confirmation message that settings updated 
it may take up to 5 minutes for these changes to appear. Uh, I'm going to click on close and let's close this window as well. Okay. So we have configured that our user Parita Boda cannot send message to our user Joe's Butler. To test this, we will try to send a new message from our user Parita's mailbox to Joss Butler. Let's uh, click on these three dots to open new in private window. As we are going to access the mailbox of our user Parita Boda using Outlook on the web. Let's type the URL as a DPS colon double slash outlook dot office dot com. Let's press enter key. That's under the email address of our user Parita, Parita B at clarex dot on Microsoft dot com. Let's click on next. Let's enter user's password and click on sign in. Okay, let's compose a new message by clicking on new message. Click on to, click on all users and uh, select Joss Butler as you want to send the message to a user Joss Butler. And before you send this message, you will see the mail tip telling you that you don't have permission to send message to Joss Butler. And even if you send this message, you will receive non-delivery report message from the action system and that we want to see as well. So let's type the subject, test message, hi Joss. Okay, I'm going to click on send. See, again, I want to remind you that here we can see the mail tape that telling us that we don't have permission to send the message to Joss Butler. But still, if user sends the message, then user is going to receive NDR mail. Let's check that. Let's click on send. Let's click on send items. Okay, message has been sent and we got the new message from Microsoft Outlook that delivery has failed to this recipients or group. The name is Josh Butler. Your message couldn't be delivered to the mailbox because you don't have permission to send it. After seeing this non-delivery report message from Microsoft Outlook, we can confirm that our user Parita Boda is not able to send message to our user Josh Butler. That concludes the video on how to configure message delivery restriction for a mailbox using Action Judgment Center web interface. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.